The greatest hypnotist on planet Earth is a oblong box in the corner of the room. It is constantly telling us what to believe is real. The sharing of biased and false, false news, news has, has become, become all, all too common, common on, on social, social media. media. More alarming, some media outlets publish and publish the same thing without checking facts first. Unfortunately, some members of the media use their platforms to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. And this is extremely dangerous to our democracy. 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 Democracy. This is extremely da dangerous to our democracy. This is extremely dangerous. Dangerous to our democracy. Dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Our democracy. Extremely dangerous to our democracy. What's happening is we are being hypnotized from cradle to grave by people like this. News readers, politicians, teachers, lecturers. We're being programmed to see the world in a certain way. Sihr is a reality in the world, and people practice magic. And one of the practices is, is through the eyes, seducing the eyes in television and, and spectacle. It's the Sihr of the Ayun. Now I want to interpret this hadith. Hasir is a mat, it's a matrix, it's like this. It, it, it has vertical and horizontal, and it's, it's a mat. And, and the Prophet said that the fitin will be shown to the hearts like a, a, a mat. Udan, Udan. It has two lines, a horizontal and vertical line. This is the TV set. This is the, this is the set. It's a hasir. It's a mat. And the Prophet said the fitin will be shown to the hearts like a mat. And this is how shaitan is destroying the hearts by showing them the fitan on these films and on TV over and over again until people just become accustomed to violence. If you look, re re all of the research that we have indicates that media violence has increased in quantity, but it's also more graphic, more sexual, and more sadistic. This is the khutawat of shaitan. If you watch films from the 1940s, the 1930s, the 1950s, see, you can see, it's slow. This is how shaitan gets people, he pulls them step by step. These are his khutawat. You start watching films, they've introduced violence. These are the khutawat of shaitan. And shaitan wants violence and sex are his two, these are because they're very powerful for the human psyche. And these are the two ways that he can really corrupt the heart. This is from the United States, so I'm using statistics from the U.S., but, but it's all coming to you, unfortunately. So, 80% of R-rated movies, right? 70% of restricted video games, and 100% of music with explicit content, warning labels, were being marketed to children under 17. So they know what they're doing. These are the minions of shaitan. Whether they're conscious of it or not, they're unconscious. If you say, We believe in freedom of speech, we believe in artistic expression, we're not sowing corruption. No, they're the corruptors. But they're unaware. So many of them are literally minions. By the time the average child in the United States is 18 years old, they will have seen 200,000 acts of violence and 16,000 murders. Our children have been programmed to be violent. This is the average time spent watching television, 5.11 hours in the United States, every day. 99% of households that possess at least one TV, 2.4 TV sets in the average US household, right? Because some have five, some have one in every room. 56 percentage of Americans who pay for cable TV. 49% say they watch too much TV. Amazing. 34 hours per week over the age of two spent in front of a TV. 24 hours per week, two to 11 spent watching TV. 54% of four to six year olds who, when asked to choose between watching TV and spending time with their fathers, preferred television. 
Average American youth, 900 hours in school, 1,200 hours watching TV, right? By the time they get out of high school. It's amazing. 16,000 number of 30 second TV commercials seen in a year. And you know what they call these? Now an important message from our sponsor. Message in Arabic is Risala. This is the real reason they want you to buy and consume their goods because it's a consumer civilization. Cartoons are very serious. This uh, cartoon is was done, it's for adults. The man that does this cartoon, literally, he's an atheist, doesn't believe in anything, makes fun of everything, cynicism, everything's a joke. Kids watch this show, it's a very sophisticated show. This is all about ghosts and, and demons and the occult, the Scooby-Doo has all these occult themes in it. You've got all these cartoons here now, and your kids are growing up on this crap. And you really have to think seriously, garbage in, garbage out. You have to think seriously about what's being done to your children's minds if you're letting them watch TV. Children imitate what they see. Now, Maleficent, you could see, see Disney, they used to have films where the witch was evil and, and now they entice them. This is the fitna. They make a beautiful, see, they used to make them old hags. If you, if you see the old film, the witch was old hag, but we get them by degrees. Now they take somebody that many people consider a very beautiful woman, and, and they put her in Bofemet's mask, and then it becomes seductive. He takes people by degrees. I mean, what is this? Why are they doing this? Why are you wearing horns? We're human beings. We're not demons. And then you can see these signs. Why do they use these symbols? Why is there so much one-eye symbolism amongst these entertainers? I've never seen any normal person do that. Why do they do this? Because this is their religion. They worship the, the, the one-eyed God. Why are they preparing our children for one-eyed characters? Why? Why do they all do these one-eyes? What, what's going on? Why are all their symbols with one eye? And you know, when you're watching television, you go into a brainwave state that is akin to being in an hypnotic trance. And so much is fed to, through that system subliminally as well as actually um, to get us to see the world in a certain way. They want to manipulate what is in our heads so that we see the world they want us to perceive. إن من علام الساعة وأشراطها أن تواصل الأطباق وأن تقطع الأرحام. This to me is one of the clear prophetic miracles of the Prophet because I believe that the atbaq and you know in Algeria what do they call the dish? Tabak. They call the satellite dish in North Africa atbaq and that is a correct ta'rib. In the East they call them suhun or dishat. They call them suhoon, and that's an incorrect hadith because a sahan is a flat dish. The tabak is a, is, a, is a concave dish. And so atbaq is the correct meaning. And the Prophet used the very word that's used for satellite communications, muwasalat. He said, tuwasal al atbaq, that the, the dishes will be communicating continuously and people will sever their family ties. In other words, people will stay home and watch television on satellite dish and they won't go visit their neighbors. This is an amazing hadith to me.
Television's a goddamn amusement park. Television is a circus, a carnival, a traveling troupe of acrobats, storytellers, dancers, singers, jugglers, sideshow freaks, lion tamers, and football players. We're in the boredom killing business. So if you want the truth, go to God. Go to yourselves, because that's the only place you're ever going to find any real truth. <laughs> But man, you're never going to get any truth from us. We'll tell you anything you want to hear. We lie like hell. We'll tell you that uh, Kojak always gets the killer and that nobody ever gets cancer in Archie Bunker's house. And no matter how much trouble the hero is in, don't worry, just look at your watch. At the end of the hour, he's going to win. We'll tell you any shit you want to hear. We deal in illusions, man. None of it is true. But you people sit there day after day, night after night, all ages, colors, creeds. We're all you know. You're beginning to believe the illusions we're spinning here. You're beginning to think that the tube is reality and that your own lives are unreal. You do whatever the tube tells you. You dress like the tube. You eat like the tube. You raise your children like the tube. You even think like the tube. This is mass madness, you maniacs. In God's name, you people are the real thing. We are the illusion. So turn off your television sets. Turn them off now. Turn them off right now. Turn them off and leave them off. Turn them off right in the middle of the sentence I'm speaking to you now. Turn them off. The storm comes, there's no protection. Now there's no roof because the satellite goes through the roof. So it's beamed into your house. You don't have the protection of your home anymore. What did the Ashab al Kahf do? They fled to the cave. Right? And that will protect you from the Dajjal. Be in your cave. Guard yourself against these things. Your home is Darul Islam. Guard your home. Protect your home. Don't invite Shaitan in. Protect your children. They're pure. They're innocent. Look at them. They're just, they're beautiful. They're, they're ready to, to, to learn La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah by fitrah. They'll believe what you tell them. But if you put them in front of these things, they'll stop believing.